Okay, so uh, this is our inaugural episode of Reviews from the Road. Indeed. Do we even want to say that? Re I, I just want like to jump right into it. Reviews from the Road. I like that. It's got a nice ring yeah, to it. We figured we got, you know, these long hauls from places, these cities we go to, you know, we're doing these hunts. And we're all the time when the camera's off, we're talking about games we played, shows we've watched, Blu rays. Let's talk Walking Dead. Now, do you want to talk about the series? You want to talk about this last episode we, we can, saw? Yeah, or I mean, do you yeah, want to talk? This, you, this week was the uh, the governor comes to the prison. Hold on. You know. Spoiler alert. Yeah. If you're, if you're not watching, right, you may not want to watch. You may want to come back to this after right. watching the newest episode because this is going to be a spoiler heavy. This was like, what, February 17th episode? Yeah. Yeah. And, so, it, and this is a spoiler heavy uh, yeah. review. So. I mean, pretty much, you know, I didn't spoil it for anybody. Governor comes to the prison. Everybody knew that was going to go down eventually. Right. Um, but yeah, Rick's pretty much gone bug fuck, bat shit insane. Okay? Yeah. Which he, he's, he's done before. Yeah. And I thought they were through with that. Nope. But if they're not through with that, I don't think he's ever going to fully recover. He's he's going off on, on a tangent very similar because the, the talking to Lori on the phone happens in, in the comic as well. But seeing full-on apparitions of Lori doesn't really happen. So, uh, you know, they, they I'm liking that Robert Kirkman's your primary writer now because he's able to do a lot of things with these characters that he didn't do in the comic. Right. Um, like keeping Shane alive so long for for instance. Um, you know, he wasn't able to do that the first time around because he was trying to shoehorn as much stuff as he could into those first six issues. You're, you're ruining the comics for me. Because I mean, he may not be spoiling you because uh, we gave the spoiler alert, but he's spoiling it for me. Well, yeah. And he already told me what Michonne does to, uh, to the governor, to the governor yeah. in the comics. So... Yeah, but uh, you know, Shane was dead by the end of the first six issues, and the reason he did that was because he didn't know how long the book was going to last. You know, he didn't know it was going to get canceled really quick or not. So he was able to keep Shane alive a little bit longer and draw that whole drama out. Um, Shane was a real knuckle driver. Yeah, he really was. He was a real ape. Full on uh, ape, yeah, full on yeah. Simeon style. Yeah, but, subhuman. Uh, yeah, th this episode, honestly, was one of my favorites so far. And yeah, this is the episode I was hoping last week's episode was going to be. You know, right. come, come back from the mid-season break with a real bang. I was really... But it wasn't a mid-season. They just broke... They'd already shot it. Yeah. You know, they just broke... What a lot of people don't understand is they just decided, you know, to... Kind of like what Breaking they wanted, Bad is doing. Yeah, yeah, they wanted to whip up the hype. They wanted to... Since they only have 13 episodes... They wanted to, you know, lengthen out the right. advertising, for instance. Right. Because in that whole two months, they were able to advertise, you know, and so. Yeah, I mean, I, and it was the biggest. Um, 12.5 million? Yeah, uh, biggest uh, cable, basic cable yeah. network uh, show of all time, highest yeah. rated. So, yeah. you know, I mean, it's. It's great. That's awesome. That just yeah. means more, and, more for us, more yeah. games, more. And, you know, March 15th, we're getting the, uh, the Daryl and Merle game. Um, first just, person shooter. I'm uh, not really. Well, if you, and if you pre order it at GameStop right now, you get a zombie ear keychain. Okay, well, that's good. That's good intel. I'm just not sold on the game. I'm going to have to read the reviews. I'm not either. Uh, I just don't dare all with the crossbow. I need guns, man. I and you, I you'll guns. have them. You're going to have them. I've okay. read a few little bits and pieces. I mean, you know. You, your, Merle isn't playable from what I've heard. But, but Daryl uh, did kick ass in this past episode. Yes, he man. did. I was that That very scene on the much. bridge? Yes. That scene on the bridge? That was fucking awesome. And I liked the There were two great action set pieces if you yeah. haven't seen this episode. It was a scene on the bridge, and then the last ten minutes of the show. The last ten minutes of the show, that's how you stage a good action sequence. David Morrissey just chewed that shit up and spit it out. I, I need to look. Uh, I need to look into who the director was for that episode and look I know him Greg up. Greg Nicotero has been directing a few. And he didn't direct this one. No. I want to look into the director and see what he's done because he staged a fantastic action. It's not shaky cam, no. but 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 the camera angles are all kinds of cool. You know, like from the back of a, uh, a moving vehicle and uh, very kind of road warrior. Yeah, when the zombie truck goes hauling ass into the prison. Yeah, you got that 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 uh, shot from underneath the truck shot, yeah. as, the, as, as the thing comes down and at the platform and all the zombies come walking out. Yeah, it yeah. was... I, but I'll tell you, what was what was kind of heartbreaking, and to me it was one of the more gut-wrenching uh, deaths of the show, and it's mainly because I was so attached to the comic book character, was Axel. 
Um, you know, so Axel when he caught it, it and because well, he was it, okay, a spoiler story. here, but wasn't Axel a serial killer? No, 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 no. The, okay. the, the, the Tomas, that character, yeah, he was like a more executive y type. He was like your what you would think of as a white collar criminal, but he ended up killing two of Herschel's daughters in the book. So I think main name. I don't want to hear any more one... fucking spoilers. Sorry, man. man you God. Asked. God um, damn it, there's going to be no reason for me to get a compendium now. I think, um, you know, making that guy named Tomas was kind of a nod to Thomas in the comic. But, because, uh, okay. I, I mean, it, honestly, if he killed two of Herschel's daughters, nobody would be left. So, because um, that's all that's left right now. But. Speaking of uh, daughters, and this is, this is kind of weird. Uh, well, they started something at the beginning of the season that they haven't followed through with, and I think it's because they, they realize it's just a little too bizarre. It's a little... Carl's love interest? Yeah, Carl's love interest, yeah. exactly. And Carl is like, what, 12? Right. And she's like 18, maybe? Uh, 17? I'm thinking 15, 16 is what, what we're... Okay, so we can yeah. see a future romance, but but the, the budding romance... Eh, well, in the book, little... Sophia was Carl's love interest. Okay, don't... And... Enough. I don't want to know. I, you've spoiled five things today out of the comics for me. And I don't want to hear any more. But I was just saying, they had to they had to replace that somehow. Because Carl's got to have something to, uh, you know... Aside from his own pride and his dad being there and now his sister, um, you know, you've got to have something else for him to for him to be fighting for. I think. But yeah, you're right. They just they it was touched on kind of in one episode. Two episodes right? Two actually. Episodes? I, think. I think they they, yeah. they they exchanged looks. Yeah. And I'm like that. That's that's kind of weird. I mean, yeah. I, it foreshadows a future romance. Yes. But is it a little early? I don't know. Um. But yeah, that this week's episode was just it was. If it was on the HBO, they pitched at HBO yeah, before they, they before they went to AMC. Yeah, and I think that's why AMC has given them so much leeway is with the gore. Yeah, they can give them the gore. You know, this week we have a zombie. He's in the back of a uh, hatchback, right? Yeah, and Daryl slams the hatchback down. Onto the zombie's head and it just pop it like, like a like a yeah. watermelon exactly. Yeah, it was it very was gruesome. Badass, it was awesome, yeah. and I think what, as what's the car happening. Drove away. They ran over another. Yeah, head they or ran over a head, and, and the sound effects were disgusting. But just flat. Yeah. What AMC is doing is they're giving a lot of leeway on the gore because they can't on the sex and or the language or the language. And on, if this had turned out to be an HBO show, I, I, I know with HBO they would have demanded sex. And, and sex in the wasteland is kind of a dirty affair. There's you know? some um, sex in the books, but it, there's not as much as you might think. Really? Yeah, it's not so really maybe, that big of a deal. But I, I do. Don't you think they are overcompensating the violence on AMC since they once, can get away with it? No, I think okay. once you read the book, I I'll think understand. You'll, that yeah, you'll that. because to me, I mean, the the level of gore, the level of zombie killing is is roughly the same in the book as in the is in the thing. But I will say some uh, most of your character deaths are not as gruesome because what happened to Lori in the TV show was all off camera with her actual demise. But and I'm not going to spoil it for you, but obviously you can pretty much guess that she dies in the book as well since they killed her in the TV series. But I mean, I'm not going to spoil it for you how it happened. But <laughs> he, anybody He just did. Well, he just said I'm not going to spoil it for you, but he spoiled it for me. But but no, no, no. It's not that it happens, it's how it happens. And how it happens okay. in the book is substantially substantially more it's a bigger impact really uh, yeah this was very dramatic anybody the way that that's happened. seen that two pa that two page <laughs> splash that uh you know when Lori dies is is just like you know when i was reading it it's just like wow you just kind of had to stop and contemplate the whole thing for a bit but you know there's been a few deaths in that book that i actually found found myself going through because you know we're at issue 107 now i've been reading it since about issue 50. I mean, I went back and read all the other ones, obviously, but I started picking them up weekly around 50. I gotta get it. So I gotta get it, man. I'm, I'm it, just the, 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 crazy. Uh, to me, the comic kicks the show's ass, as good as the show is. But, um, but you know, yeah. with, with what we were talking about this last week's episode, kicked ass, bar none. Yep. Bar none. Right on the truck. Exactly the point I was trying to make. Right. That so, this last episode was the best bar none. Yep. And also, you know, I'm liking that we're getting an expanded universe with the games and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, we need are, to talk about the game, don't yes, we? Yes, the Telltale Games uh, Xbox Live ah. or PlayStation Network uh, purchasable, but now purchasable on disc. 
um, five part, five episode series and it was agonizing because they were supposed to come out one a month. It ended up being, they started last April and then the last one came out in December, I think. So over eight months we got five episodes. That's why I'm glad I actually waited uh, for the disc. Even yeah. though the disc was glitchy, I actually waited until they uh, uh, did a patch for it. Right. So it wasn't that bad. Some parts of it were glitchy and it was annoying. Um, the With, controls were very frustrating. Yeah. I think playing it on the PC would have been a lot easier. And they have it for iOS now too, so you can play it on your iPad or iPhone. Okay, I, I would need an iPad because yeah. the, the iPhones, the screen is too small. To Why is this cop over here clocking people and we're doing like 30? You well, know? you know, he's clocking, you know, hundreds of cars. What is, how's he gonna, how's he gonna get in, in well, the midst too, of all we're, this We're nowhere traffic. near what the speed limit is. We're in a 70 mile per hour zone, we're doing 25 miles per hour. Damn coppas. But anyway, um, yeah, so the Telltale games, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, at first I was kind of skeptical. By the end of the second episode, I was absolutely hooked because... I was, same here, uh, I had to, I had to force my way, not force my way, but I had to, you know, push on through the, uh, the first, because I rented, I rented... Just roll with it. Red I rented Box. mine from Redbox, yeah. and uh, you know, so I didn't want to end up spending. You know, I don't want to keep it for two weeks and spend more money on that than right. if I just straight up bought it. Right. Um, but so I had to sort of plow through episode one because it was. It, was, it takes a while to get into. It's like a good show that takes a while to. But once yeah, I hit episode two, building. a lot of character building. Episode two, I was hooked. I was absolutely hooked. So here's a question for you. Uh, what was the guy's name? Larry, the the, the one bitchy chick's, uh, the Air Force chick's dad. Um, the the one with the heart problem. Oh yeah, the six foot four douchebag. Uh, yeah, and they were they were caught in that room together, and they were afraid he was going to turn into a zombie, yeah, and he was going to smash his head in. Oh yeah, I no did. no no, I I didn't. I let the other guy smash. No, it. I, I totally. I just jumped on it. I was like, fuck yeah, let's do this. I thing. was trying I mean, to be the good guy. See, guy, the, the thing that's cool about this game is like a choose your own adventure. If any yeah. of you guys ever read a choose a lot your own of moral adventure book, choices to make book. Uh, you can go back and play it again and again and, and make different choices. Yep. And each of the characters, sometimes it, it will say, uh, like Clementine, the little girl. Clementine noticed that, so she'll remember Clementine it. Clementine will remember that. Yeah, and it, 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 it um, affect things later on in the story. Yeah. And, and that's, that's the thing that really makes the game good. And that's, that's also what caused some of the glitches. Apparently there were certain combinations of choices that would cause the glitchiness. Yeah. Um, my last, uh, the last episode Apparently, a lot of my choices had uh, caused such glitches that it had to just kind of change some things for me. Um, because if you've played it already, you know, the, at the end, you can go after Clementine by yourself or with a group of people. I had originally chosen to go by myself, which was apparently way in the minority. And um, then it, it, when I started the, the last episode, it made me go back and take people with me. It made me take the, uh, the couple that you find near the train station, Omid and, uh, what was her name? Omid and, uh, I don't I know. can't remember. I'm not good at Omid remembering and names. Omid's girlfriend. Yeah. Um, now, I am going to buy it at some point because, because of the, the replay value. Well, and the other, that was the other thing that I loved about it, is when you're done with each episode, did it do it for you? It gave you a breakdown of... of yeah, it your did. Your choices compared to everybody. To else every, it, yeah, like uh, a percentage, and uh, I was, I was, I was. It, that was very interesting because mine, my choices, uh, about fifty percent of the time, they they lined up with everybody else's. But every once in a while, I would have a choice where, like, I was in the seventeen percent minority. I was typically in that minority. Yeah. Um, um, that's why I want to play it again because I'll be in the minority. It's like when I play Fallout. Right. First time through, I'm good. Yeah, I was kind and of on the road. I'm yeah. kind of getting neutral, and then I got to do my evil character. Yeah. Um, and that's really the appeal of the Walking Dead game. If you're looking for a first person shooter, or you're looking forward to uh, blowing a bunch of zombies away, this is probably not the game for you. The uh, the, the new game coming out, the one with Daryl and, and, and Merle. Yeah, the Dixon uh, brothers. Yeah, that's going to be more of the first person shooter yeah. game. 
this is for people who like uh, choose your own adventure stories, uh, games like Heavy Rain. Yes, I guess. Yes, Heavy Rain. Is um, great. But yeah, I mean, it's very simple. But here's the thing: I love the visual style. Very comic um, book. Very actually. comic book. It's very comic book, but and yet it sucks you in. It yes. gets you emotionally invested in the characters, it especially really Clementine. Yes, they did a hell of a job on the voice acting I and everything on Clementine. Was be annoying. I really was that and first she, episode. She yeah. wasn't at all, and, and uh, the, uh, the the facial expressions coupled with the good voice acting, you yep. got you know you know got invested in these characters, and yet it still had the comic book style. It was just all around awesome. And there are a few characters from, and they you give know, you those imp impossible choices. Yeah, like yeah, both, save this guy or save this guy. Yeah, both yeah. choices are bad. They're they're horrible. Somebody's gonna die. You have to make it. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, like uh, like in the beginning, I was ready for Duck to just to get bitten and die because, you know, he was the one that fucked up on the tractor, got you yeah. to get Duck farm. And Duck, Duck, who did you save? By? So you saved Duck, obviously. I saved Duck. Yeah. I did too. And apparently that was the wrong choice. Yeah. And we weren't lined up with the majority of, the majority of people saved the other kid. Right. A uh, small majority. Right. But nevertheless, but I found that interesting. With, with that choice, you know, I think, you know, it, it, it ended up pretty good because Duck eventually does get bitten and uh well he deserved it he, he was a yeah. little he, he was, he was a little brat, yeah but, uh, you know basically you're you're faced with you shoot him or do you make kenny shoot him do you make kenny kill his own son or do you take the rap you know do you take that fall for him and your character's already a convicted murderer anyway and uh you know whether it, it was it left it always kind of left it ambiguous whether it was or wasn't and it didn't really matter um it, but the only thing that mattered about it is who you chose to be open with about it. And I really did hate that Carly died, his love interest, the reporter. Um, I, I hated that she died, but uh, you yeah. know, there was no way to prevent that one, I don't think. Uh, so, But now the cannibals on the farm, that was a fun episode. When you find the guy with no legs in the bathroom. Speaking of look, no legs, I'm about to have no arm. I cannot hold up this rig anymore, man. This thing's getting heavy. It is getting heavy. Fuck, man. But, uh, yeah. Um, but Going anyway, on 20 minutes here. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and cut it short there. Wrap I mean, it up. It's, it's, a, it's a great game. Give it a shot. I know everybody that I've read that's played it had ended up loving it, uh, whether they were a fan of the series or not. Um, and I would say, you know, red box it. Go ahead and get through that first episode. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just, you know, like any good, like Boardwalk Empire, for instance. I know there's a lot of, I know a lot of you guys love that it, show. It took a bit to get into. It took a while. It took a few episodes. Yeah. It, it's kind of like that. It's like a good HBO show. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, rent it or download yep. it, whatever you want to do it. We give it the the seal of approval. Yep, because I mean, um, you were skeptical, and I kept I telling was. you, no, man, it's it's awesome. You need to give it a try. You're right. Uh, you know what we're coming up on here? We're coming up on Mr. Unnameables. Mr. Unnameables, indeed. I've been back there, and they did not give me the stink eye, but... Should we go in? No, I'm, I'm good. You're good? Well, what about me? Am I good? Yeah, you're good. So we don't need to go into Mr. Unnameables. Nope, and your phone's ringing. But you went in by yourself. It's not okay for us to go in, but it's okay for you to go no, in. No, Ashley was looking for something, and so we went in there. <sighs> yeah. Why can't I go in there? I don't know, because you don't want them. I do want them. I want some old films. An hour before...